Morning, Bethlehem. Good to see you here this morning. Uh, as always, we welcome you, especially if you're visiting with us. Uh, just ask that you would just relax and enjoy this service. It's our gift to you. And if we can uh, enhance your being here in any way, shape, or form, uh, you can get information at the Connection Center. If you're here for the first time, we actually have a gift for you if you'd like to uh, go out there. But if there's anything we can do, just uh, ask any of us. We're so glad that you are here this morning. As always, ask that you uh, sign in on the pads, hopefully coming down the row, or on our Bethlehem app, because we do uh, want to know how we can best serve you, and that's one of the ways that we can do that. Lots going on, but before we move forward, I want to talk about the boutique from last weekend. Uh, again, a big thank you to Diana Lund and all of those Stitch and Pair ladies, and so many more that uh, worked all year long to... Uh, Make that a big success. They raised uh, over $2,000 that's going towards the uh, playground, the new playground. And they also, uh, and I'm sorry I don't have this number, but they d made all kinds of blankets that were donated to foster all, to the foster children. So again, thank you to uh, each and every one of them. Um, moving forward, as I said, Gifts from the Heart begins today. You know how that works, our big Christmas uh, mission project. Uh, go out to the Connection Center, find a tag, take it, uh, go buy your gift, bring it back, and uh, you know how that goes. We've been doing it a long time, and it's always one of our uh, more favorite and popular items, so uh, you can just be a part of that. We'd appreciate it. Then this afternoon, Convalescent Home Worship. Edward Amy will be uh, bringing the message. It's always a great opportunity for us to go and uh, serve some folks who uh, don't get to uh, come and be a part of worship with us, and they are always very honored by our presence. So uh, if you got nothing going on this afternoon, even if you do, cancel it, go uh, to the convalescent home. Um, and now i got another invitation for all of you. If you've been like thinking about the choir, you got any kind of musical background, you like singing, uh, we have an opportunity for you. We're trying to put together a uh, kind of a special choir for Christmas, for our, just for our Christmas program here that we put on. If you're interested in that or think you might be, you can go out to uh, the Connection Center. They'll have some information or you can talk to Sarah Barron. She is putting that together. So a uh, great opportunity for uh, all of us who want to uh, just worship by singing. So go see Sarah. Now I want to talk to you about our 1045 worship hour today. Very excited. We are going to do a prayer walk. Pastor Joe is going to lead us on that, give us a little information on how prayer walks work, what we hope to accomplish, and then we're just going to go out into the community uh, for just a little while, kind of a, a first try at this. So if you want to be a part of that, uh, please be here at 1045. And if walking is a little bit too much for you, we are also going to uh, pray here in the prayer garden. Pastor John's going to be a part of that. So uh, all of us pray that uh, we would be here and be a part of that prayer uh, opportunity. The next week, 1045, is kind of our Community Outreach Sunday. Um, in light of what, what's going on around here and uh, the shootings that just happened this past week, we want to do something to uh, serve the, the folks who serve us. So uh, I'm not sure exactly what that is. And uh, if you have some ideas or if you just want to be a part of that, uh, be here next Sunday at 1045 here in the Worship Center. That's it. Lots going on. It's a great place to be, and we are glad you are here.